Hello everyone, this is Locke and I and welcome back to this week on the Great Build YouTube channel. And today I'm looking at a fourth of my five different displays I have set aside for this week. Now I haven't been making videos that often lately and that's because I've been working hard to finally get the pieces I need and to clean up these displays so that I can show you what I do with my Lego bricks. Today we're going to be looking at the, the theme park, I guess you could call it. Which is mostly just amusement park rides, a food court, some mini games, and even a camping area we'll see later. So most of this is made up of sets. Some of these sets have been slightly modified, but I hope to completely modify this later in the future so that this looks way cooler and so that you can access some of the game features for these rides and stuff without having to reach back into the display. Now, moving across here, you can see that we've got the roller coaster, the Ferris wheel, and on this side, the high drop. Now, these are all parts that went to the LEGO Friends first amusement park set that they did. And I got this when it released because there were no other LEGO amusement park sets at the time. And I am glad I did because this set is amazing. I do plan on doing an individual review of this later, but it might take some time because I don't have enough base plates to properly do the film box for this yet. However, it is a great set, and you can see it works well with the other things I have here so far. Moving towards the back, you can see that there's a little bit of a game area mixed in with a couple of different games, and even a bowling alley. Those two are the smallest set, and the poly bag from the same wave of that LEGO Friends set for the amusement park. There was also a couple of other sets from that wave, but I chose not to get those. That's okay, it's all up to what you want to get. Now, you might notice I haven't put any figures on this display yet, and that's because I haven't decided exactly what figures I want. Because some of the LEGO Friends stuff is designed to work with mini dolls, but mini figures would be better and probably more liked by everyone else, so I might do that. But as for now, I just wanted to make it have this stuff here, and then I'll add the figures later. I'll do another video maybe when I get to that point. Now, moving into the back here, this is the food court area. We have a bunch of tables. We have the giant cupcake from a 4 Plus set that I got that isn't really good for reviewing because I didn't really like it as much. But the cupcake part of it was fun, so that was something I decided to put there. It's like a big statue of a cupcake. And back there, you can see the donut shop, which is another set I plan to review, as well as the popcorn cart from the main set as well as an ice cream truck 4 Plus set, which I thought was pretty cool. And even for a 4 Plus set, some of these 4 Plus sets look like they fit in naturally with this display, so I'm leaving them in there, even though some people may not like those. And I also have a tractor here. I do plan on doing more of an expansion to this layout in the future. The idea was that I wanted to have some part of it feel like the farm part of a fair, where you'd go and see the different animals, like the horses and the chickens. I definitely got the animal pieces to do that, so maybe I'll do a video when that happens, too. Now, other than that, this is mostly just sets that I've had put together. Like, this is the LEGO City Space Ride, missing the aliens, of course, because I might modify this to have four spaceships instead of two. I think this is just a cool thing to add in here, and I'm glad they made it. I did pick up two of these when they were around, so definitely fun. If you can find it, that's a set I recommend getting. And moving over here, this is the campsite area. I know it's small. I don't really have a proper space to put some of this. So right now I just have the LEGO Friends 4 Plus camper in here. I do own other campers, but I'd have to rebuild them, and I do plan to do so for this project at some point. You can see there's also a campfire here with a marshmallow and a stick as well as a nice place for you to sit down and have your marshmallows. I might do a full review of this set as well, because I really enjoyed this set. Now, overall, this is the my review on my display. I think it could use some improvement. This is the one that's the least complete out of all my displays. But out of all these displays, I think this one has the most room for positive growth. Since I've mostly left myself open to choose as many mock ideas that I could add in here, and even brought in some ideas for how to make the sets better, I think this could be a fun project to work on over time, and I'll give you updates as that goes on. Now, go ahead and check out some of the other videos I've done this week. I've reviewed my town setup, as well as my Ninjago Core collection, which is all on a display right now. So, go ahead and check those out, and stay tuned tomorrow, because I'm going to be looking at my display where I've placed all of my LEGO Ninjago Dragons, and I think that will be the best video of the week. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Feel free to like and subscribe to the channel, and I hope you all have a great day.